Hi there, my name is Bernie and I'm delighted to welcome you to our instrument making session for Crenu Nanog this year. Um, I'm from a wee music school called the Music Box and we do all kinds of music. We sing, we play guitars, sometimes ukuleles, we record, we perform, but also we do lots of workshops where we get to make instruments and um, different wee crafts. And so over the years, we've come up with some great wee ideas to make instruments from all kinds of stuff that you might have around the house or that are at least very easy to get. So hopefully by now you've received a wee package with lots of little bags um, with craft supplies in there. And also you should have like a wee list like this explaining all the different instruments we're going to make. So today we're going to make um, some shape shakers using paper cups but I'm also going to show you some um, different things you can do with all of these instruments. You can use plastic cups or lots of other things um, and you can fill them with a little bit of rice. I used some broken pasta in one that I'm going to show you soon um, or you can use some beads whatever you have handy. Um, for the decoration of that one you can use stickers, markers, you can also glue some tissue paper around the outside of it um, to make it pretty and also that will make it uh, much stronger. We're also going to make some jingle sticks. So for that one, I've sent you a wee lollipop stick and some jingle balls. But I'm also going to show you how you can do that just using a stick from the garden or that you might find when you're out walking. We are going to make some castanets using some bottle tops and cardboards and googly eyes, markers, whatever you have handy. And then we're going to make some rainbow ribbons. And for that one, I've sent you some ribbons and I've sent you a little wooden circle. But I'm going to show you some other stuff that you can use. If you don't have a wee, um, a wee wooden circle like that to hand, you can lose, use lots of other things if you want to make it again or if some of your friends would like to make it. We're going to make a very simple wee paper plate tambourine. But I'm also going to show you how you can um, add some other features to that to make it even better. And then we're also going to make hand drums. So for that one, I sent you two circles of card. I sent you some jingle balls, some string and a plastic straw. The string I found wasn't working very well with the jingle balls. So I would advise uh, for this project, let's use one of your ribbons from your rainbow ribbon to string through the jingle balls and I'll show you what I mean when we get to that part. I also, did you notice, I sent you a little CD with a couple of songs. Um, one that I wrote, one that my friend Brie Jean Carr wrote and one that we wrote together um, called Future Generations. So I hope you enjoy those as well. So let's get started. I'll get some craft supplies gathered up and we will make some instruments. So the first thing that we're going to make today is our paper cup shakers. These are so easy to make, but you can add so much more to them with whatever you have laying around the house. And I'll show you exactly what I mean in a moment. So here is basically what you've gotten from me. You've gotten some paper cups, you've got some tape. I think you might have gotten clear tape. And um, there's some jingle balls in your kit that you could use to put inside. Um, this is one that I made up quite simply. The cups already were decorated, but if you have plain cups, I'll show you how to decorate those in a moment. So I put some little pieces of broken pasta inside the bottom cup, taped it together, and that's okay. That's your basic shaker right here. Everything that you use will make a different noise. You might use some shells, some beads, or um, some uh, wee bits of rice, whatever you, whatever's handy for you, and you can decorate all parts of it like that. So that's a very simple one, but I'm going to show you now how we made it from scratch. So we've got two cups. I've used plastic cups before and paper. Anything works fine. I have a few bobble tops left over from when I was making the castanets. So I'm going to put a few of those in to see what they sound like. So I'll put a few of those in and that's plenty. So I'm going to use tape now. And this part's a wee bit tricky, so you might need some um, grown-up help for this. So I'm going to get a few wee lengths of tape and cut them. And let me show you how it's a wee bit tricky. Because you have to try and hold the two cups together. 
so that you can tape around them. So you might need a wee bit of grown up help to do this. It is definitely, uh, you need a couple of hands for this job. So I'm going to go very slowly. What you want to do is make sure that you have your rice or pasta, beads, whatever you're using is already inside. And then you want to tape around the part where the two cups join up. So all around there where they join up, take your time, there's no rush. And then when it goes all the way around, what I like to do then is actually go around again. So this is right around the middle. And then what I'll generally do, just to make sure that we're not losing any small parts as we go, I'll tape sort of just around the top of that and just around the bottom of that to make sure that it's very, very safe. So take your time and do it because the more time you spend making it and making sure that it's quite safe and secure, the longer it will last and the more fun you'll have with it. The other good thing about doing this with me in this video is you can always press pause and go find more supplies if you need them or you can press pause if you need to go do something else and come back and work on it again later. So. This one is nice and secure now. I'm just going to put one more wee bit of tape around the bottom, just like I said. So definitely around the middle. And then if you've got super thick tape, maybe uh, once around is fine. But this tape's quite thin, so I'm just going to go around the middle. And like I say, any tape is fine. I send you clear tape. Uh, masking tape works really well. And this is a thing called electrical tape. Um, you can find it in pound shops, craft shops and stuff. And so that's this one all taped up again. A lot of times what I'll do then is I'll decorate the outside and in your kit you'll find lots of different kinds of stickers. So you can put some stickers on it. You can decorate the top and bottom. Make sure maybe put your name on it so that you know it's yours. Or another thing that I love to do with them is if you can find some wee bits of tissue, color tissue that you might use for gift wrapping or even wee bits of gift wrap and paper. So I've got a few wee bits here. This is a wee package that I bought and I just cut some small pieces off it here. Just small wee strips. They don't have to be all the same size or the same color. And then I'm going to use my glue strip. What's actually quite handy to do instead of trying to glue the individual pieces of paper is just put some glue on directly on your cup because these this is quite thin and it can tear quite easily. So I'm going to get my glue stick. I've sent you one of those as well. And I'm going to put some glue on the outside. So if you want to change it up, you could actually use um, old newspaper, bits of old comics, maybe something that you've drawn yourself. And then you can just start covering the whole outside of it um, with different wee bits if you want to. It makes it nice and strong. It add lots, adds lots of color to it. And you can carry on the whole way around your cup, use lots of glue, and actually then you can even glue over the top of it to give it a wee bit of extra strength because the glue adds a wee bit of um, strength to the paper or plastic cups that you're using as well. So I'll just put one more wee one on there. Oh, got a wee bit of orange. It's nice to make it nice and colorful as well. So we'll go around the top here and add some more glue. Take your time. Remember, guys, it's not a race. We've got loads of time. You can finish this off whenever you want. It would be a great wee project for school. So maybe when you've finished yours, if you're going to school, you could take it and show your teacher. You could help your teacher show the class how to make them. So I'm just going to finish gluing all around the top of this one. I'll leave the bottom and then you can add some markers and stuff to the bottom to make it nice and colorful as well. Put this bit all the way around here. And then if you've got any wee bits that aren't covered, you can cover them in as well. Do, 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 do. So, there you go. So that's what the top looks like then. And you can actually put more and more layers of paper on it if you want. Um, just keep going till, you're, till you feel like you're done. So otherwise, you might have some crayons, you might have some markers about the house that you would like to use to make it nice and colourful or a wee pen even. Got a wee pen here. So for this one, it's already got stars. So maybe I'll just like put some flower shapes around some of the stars and 
um, keep decorating it. So it's up to you, whatever way you want to do it. And you can make this again anytime with plain cups, plastic cups, whatever you want. So this is the one that has wee bits of broken pasta inside it and it sounds like this. This one has the bottle tops in it, sounds like this. So those are great for making all kinds of music and um, uh, enjoying with whatever kind of music you like. And those are our lovely paper cup shakers. So this next craft that I'm going to show you is our jingle sticks. It's a very quick and easy one to make. Um, some of them take a bit longer, but this one is very quick. Just before we start though, I wanted to show you something else that I'm working on that you can do at home quite easily as well. I had this old tambourine. It was very old and worn out and there was bits of ripped paper around the edge and everything. So something you can do as well, since we're making so many instruments now, if you have any old ones at home, you could just have a wee think about doing them up, upcycling your old instruments. So I had a few feathers laying in, in, in the craft supplies. And again, some of the tissue paper that we already used when we were making our shakers. And just very simply, a PVA glue, if you have some at home, or even your trusty old glue stick, or even tape is fine. You can uh, upcycle some of your old shakers. So they look brand new again, and they're extra fun to play with because you've added some lovely color to them. So you can just go around with this with some paper or if they're um, if you check with your parents if it's okay or the grown ups that are with you, maybe they are old and worn and it's okay to color them in a bit. But we always have to check in case they're very special. So um, you can do that with some of your old instruments as well. Just upcycle them, make them nice and colorful and bring them back to life again. So. Let's look at our jingle sticks. What I sent you at home was some of our jingle balls and some a little lollipop stick. So I'm gonna pick a red one here for today. And this is so quick and easy to make, but I'm also gonna show you how you can do something different with it. So to make this one, you just need your lollipop stick, a couple of wee jingle balls and a pipe cleaner of any color. So I'll just grab a wee blue one here. And even though the jingle balls are quite small, they're very easy to thread into the pipe cleaner. There you go, there's a tiny wee hook at the top of them and they're really easy to do. So you can ask for some help and you can give it a wee try yourself first and then don't be afraid to ask for some help. So God, we'll just put three on here for now. And the next step, it's actually the last step, is you just wrap it around your lollipop stick. So make sure it's nice and secure so it's not going to fall off every time you shake your jingle stick. So wrap it around, wrap it all through itself, give it a wee twist here and there so that it stays nice and secure. And then at the end of that, just a really simple little jingle stick. Nice and quiet one as well, in case anyone's having a wee sleep in your house. Nice little quiet one, I like that one. But another thing that you can do, so you don't need to find lollipop sticks. I went outside and I found this stick. I brought it inside and it was wet when I found it because it was raining. So I let it dry out uh, sitting at the back step and then I painted it. Just whatever colors you have is fine. And then you can take some string and some beads if you have that around the house. You can take your pipe cleaners and your uh, jingle balls and you can um, make a jingle stick that way but just whatever you have is absolutely fine so uh, I'm going to make one using my colorful stick and the thing about this as well is because it's uh, bigger your stick can be any shape or size you could maybe tie some colorful scarfs around it or some nice bright material you could go all the way up around your stick with your pipe cleaners and it's the kind of thing you could be working on for a few days. You could add more things to it as you go along, find some shells, find some old beads 
and make it nice and colourful. And add as much sound to it as you can find yourself. So that's another wee idea to use a bit of nature in your instrument making. So that's our upcycling and our jingle sticks from nature. So enjoy those. Next up, it's our castanets. In the castanet bag, you'll have a couple of bottle tops. You will have a little piece of cardboard and some googly eyes. So I'll show you how to make our castanets. They're so simple, but they work so well. I've sent you a glue stick, so you can use a glue stick to make your castanets. I made these ones using a glue stick and I made these ones using PVA glue. So both work equally as well. The glued ones are on really well and the glue stick ones also on really well. They're not moving anywhere. The secret with that though is you have to be patient. So when you make them, you have to leave them overnight. And what I did is I laid it down flat and I put a heavy book on top of it. And I was really patient and I didn't move it till well into the next day. And then that way it was dry. This one where there was glue on it, I actually just left it sitting flat on the windowsill and it was really, really well dried the next morning. So you can use either one and I'm going to show you today how to make it using the PVA glue stick and then we will decorate it. So those two are already sort of finished and this is one that I'm just starting on now. So this is just plain cardboard and I just drew a wee design. I started decorating it. You can decorate it any way you want. But the next step is once you've decorated the outside, you can decorate it after too. And that's what I'm going to show you in a second. Um, just bend it over in two. Just bend it over in two. As even as you can, but it's okay if it's a wee tiny bit off. So that's that one bent over in two. You can press it down there at the edge. So it's got a nice. And then we're just going to get our glue stick. Use loads of it though. Loads and loads. And where you're going to glue is at this end and this end because this is where our bottle tops are going to be making the noise when they bang off each other. So loads and loads of glue. Just keep gluing and gluing because you need it to be really, really sticky. So get glue on the ends. Keep gluing away. See, it's actually, I have so much on there. You can see it's sort of white there and that's good. You need plenty of glue. And, or like I said, you can use the PVA glue if you have that at home, but both work really well. So I'm going to get loads and loads of glue on these ends here. And then I'm going to pick up my bottle tops and we will stick them on. So, oh, I've got a blue one and green one. Everyone should have different colors. So, and that's it basically. So they're pressed on there. If, uh, if you check them tomorrow and they haven't stuck, just start again and use even more glue. So press them down and then find a heavy book and leave them under a heavy book till tomorrow. And don't touch them again <laughs> for a good few hours. So I'm going to show you now how to decorate uh, one of the ones that I had already glued so we can finish it up. I sent you some googly eyes, so that's um, a good option. But before we start that, I think I'm going to give this one some sharp teeth over here at the end before we add in his googly eyes. It's better to do the marker part first if you're doing some markers because the glue, um, it's hard to draw a marker over your wet glue. Or you can use some stickers that's uh, that are also in your pack. So let me give this guy some nice sharp teeth. Maybe two sharp ones on the outside and some small pointy teeth in the middle. So there's some good sharp teeth. And then we'll stick his googly eyes on up here. But before we do, maybe we'll give him some ears. Hello. He's going to be a funny looking wee monster. And he's got his teeth down there. So those are his ears and his mouth. Before I put on the googly eyes, I'm just going to draw a slightly friendlier one on the other side. So here we just do a nice big smiley face. Great big smile. 
and we nose and then we know we can add his googly eyes up here so we'll give him some nice spaghetti hair there you go he's going to be a handsome chap okay so let's get those googly eyes on both sides so you can color it all over it doesn't just have to be faces it could be some designs like i was doing on the back of this one or whatever you want to do so googly eyes this little guy is going to have two eyes the same size He's so lucky. So I think the monster is going to have some messy eyes. Here we go. So that's him. And then on the other side, so I've got one big one here. Get my glue stick again. And we'll just glue right into the middle here. I've got one big googly eye. Let's see if I have a wee small one here somewhere too. Yep. Or uh, your monster might have lots of eyes. In fact, this guy looks like he might need a few eyes. So we'll just add some more in there. I've got a wee castanet song in my head. So at the end, guys, when we've got all our instruments make, made, we'll try a few wee songs with them. So that's our little monster guy. And on the other side, we've got our little smiley guy. And that's our castanets. So you can use glue. You can use your glue stick. You can colour, you can use your googly eyes, whatever you want to do. Clicking castanets. So also included in your pack was some ribbon and a little wooden circle to make some rainbow rings, rainbow ribbons. <laughs> um, you can use so many other things uh, in addition to a little circle like that. It doesn't have to be anything special. So um, I'm going to show you a few other options to use so that you can make some more rainbow ribbons at home. Um, you can use any ribbon that you like, any ribbon that you can find. You can actually use old strips of material if you ask a grown up to cut some up from um, uh, old clothes or an old pillowcase or anything around that you're done with. Maybe they could help you to uh, cut some little strips and you can make some more rainbow ribbons. Um, you can use your kit today with your little wooden circle and your ribbons. And I'm going to use one of these three things just to show you that you can use lots of things that you might have around the house. The first thing is a piece of cardboard that I just cut sort of into the shape of a handle for swinging my rainbow ribbons around. So I just drew a wee design on one side, which I'm starting to color in lots of the wee shapes. And on the back side, just for something different, I drew a wee spider and a wee spider web. So the way you would use this one is you would tie your ribbons on here and that would work perfectly for swishing all those lovely colors around. Another thing that you can use if you have an old bracelet, plastic or steel, metal, whatever it is, but it has to be an old one. <laughs> it can't be one of um, one of your parents' good bracelets that are around the house. So something like that is great. I think I bought that in a pack of five for a couple of euros. Um, so I might use that one. And another thing that you can use is this. It's a wee cookie cutter, just for cutting out shapes when you're making wee biscuits and buns. Um, so which one will I use today? Hmm. I think I will use the bracelet because you'll be using a circle too. So then we'll all be using the same shape. So I sent you five ribbons, but I'm going to ask you to just use four for this. Although if you'd like to, you could cut them in half and have shorter ribbons, but then you'd have a lot more ribbon hanging off your circle because we're going to keep one of the ribbons, at least a little bit of it for your hand drum, which we'll be making next. So. This one is another really, really easy one. You just put it through your shape, whatever shape you're using, and tie it in a knot. Now that part is tricky, but the good news is we're in no rush and you can always ask for help. So you can just tie it in a wee double knot like that. And that's the start of it. Very nice. Actually, I'm gonna make mine a wee bit shorter today so we can see it all in the camera. So. There we go, I like the length of that one. I'm gonna keep going now and adding some more colors. So you can do the same. Um, 
so just a little bit through and then cross them over cross them over and push that wee end through take your time and ask for help if it's difficult. It is difficult. It takes a lot of practice to tie bows and knots. So I'm just going to do the exact same thing again so it's extra safe so it doesn't come off. And that's two on there. So you can watch me do it again so that you can practice your tying. We'll pick a different color this time. So I'm keeping mine quite short. I actually like the idea of having it short. So with our yellow or whatever color you're using, Put a little bit through, cross them over, and push the wee short end back through the space that you've made. So put it through there and then pull it tight. Boop. Then I'm going to do the same thing again just to make sure that it doesn't fall off when I'm dancing with it. So push that wee short part through the space that you've made, and there you go. That's another one on. So I'll do it again. You can keep watching and keep trying, but don't get frustrated. Just ask for help. So there you go. That's three. So let's see. Hmm. I'll go do another purple. So put it on, put a little bit through, then cross them over and push the short part through the space that you made. Good job, guys. So you can keep going with as many wee bits of ribbon as you have. Um, you could do what I did and make your ribbons a bit shorter so that you sort of have more ribbon rather than just four or five. If you cut them in half, you'd be doubling it up to have about eight or ten. So that's my lovely rainbow ribbon. And like I said, you can make, make your own handle with a bit of cardboard or use cookie cutters or anything that you can find around the house to hold your wee rainbow ribbons. And then when you're finished with it, you have to make sure to dance and twirl and enjoy them. I love this next one. It's called a hand drum and it's really easy to make and it's great fun to use. So I'll show you one that I made earlier um, with the help of my three-year-old who lovingly decorated it. So for this one, you're gonna use from your kit two circles of cardboard card that I sent you and I sent you string but remember I've asked you to use the ribbon instead and there's a couple of jingle balls in there that you're going to use as well and a plastic straw. I've also used a wee bit of my tape to make sure that it's extra secure on there so you could do that with some of the tape that I've sent you and it's called a hand drum because you hold it in your hand and it works like this. So you can just shake it around or you can put it in your hands and make your wee beat. Or you can just give it a regular shake and it'll work too. So, and then on the cardboard, you can decorate it any way you want. You can use some of the stickers from your kit. You can color it in. You can use some googly eyes, make a little face or just use some markers or crayons that you have. So let's get started and we will make our wee hand drum. So the first thing that you need is your cardboard. So if you're making these from your own supplies to make some more, just take a regular A4 sized, any color at all. You can use different colors like I've done on the first one, green and blue, or you can make both sides the same color like I'm gonna do now. So first thing you wanna do is get your two circles. It could be any size that you want, big or small, whatever you want, it's fine. So we've got our two circles here. Okay, there we go, two bits of card. And what you do then is you're gonna put one down on your table and get a small piece of ribbon and lay it across like that. Actually, I think we'll put our jingle balls on first. So this one is tricky again. We're adding our jingle balls onto the end of our ribbon. So you might need to ask for some grown up help for this. It's best if you fold over the end of your ribbon a little bit to make it quite small. And then you thread it through the wee hook on your jingle ball. So once you've got that done, I'll show you how to secure it. So you push it through. It's a wee bit tricky, but it isn't too bad. 
There you go. So you're going to pull it through a wee bit. And just like we did when we were making our rainbow ribbons, you're going to tie it up again. So just like we did before. Push them or overlap them and then push the wee short part through the space that you've made. I like to do it twice just to make sure they're not going anywhere. That's it. And then we're going to do the same on the other end. So and get another wee jingle ball and take your time with it. Some of these jobs are fiddly. And remember what I said as well, it's okay to press pause on the video and sort of take your time, do it at your own speed and then press play when you're ready to move on to the next part. But these things can be a bit fiddly, so don't be afraid to take your time. There's no rush whatsoever. So we thread that next one through, take it in from the edge a wee bit so we can tie it in a knot. And the only thing you really need to remember is this needs to be long enough to come out both sides of your cardboard circle. So let's just check now that we've made sure that's going to work. So that looks about right there. That looks about right. There's enough hanging off the end for them to bang off the um, drum when it's finished. So the next thing that we're going to do then is we lay that across kind of evenly so that your jingle balls are sort of even at either side you place your other piece of cardboard on top. And that's ready to glue. We're gonna deal with the handle now and you can do that a couple of different ways. Just have my handle, oh here it is. So the handle that I've given you for your hand drum is a stiff hard plastic straw. You can either put it in between the two pieces of cardboard so you could just slot it in between there and then it's all going to be glued together. And then I showed you in my wee sample one, I added some tape to the bottom of mine to make sure that it didn't slide out. Alternatively, what you could do is just put it right on top there and tape it. So I'm going to do it that way now so that you can see what both look like, both options look like when we're finished. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do now is you've got your ribbon in between your two pieces of plastic and you're going to use lots of your lovely glue stick to glue them together. So go ahead and do that now and I'll do the same here. So what you're going to do is all around, all around your circle, the whole thing I've glued, the whole thing round and round here. Lots of glue, don't be afraid to use lots and lots and lots. Okay, and when that's well glued then, loads of glue. The whole thing is covered in glue. I'm going to lay that wee ribbon across the middle again, just like that. Now your glue stick doesn't dry too quickly, so you can move it, adjust it if you need to. And then take your other little circle, just place it right on top there. Right on top and press it down all the way around. So that's sort of the main body of your hand drum now all done and glued together and that will be nice and secure that's not going anywhere so before we put our straw on let's talk about decorating it now so what will we do we could add some googly eyes and make faces just like i did on the other one that i showed you or we could use some markers let's use some markers and stickers because we haven't done that yet so i'm going to grab a wee red marker and i think i'm going to draw some flowers what might you do on yours? Maybe some shapes, some hearts. So that red's nice and bright on the yellow there. A wee swirly whirly middle. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna make all the flowers join up around it. So the stems are all coming out from the middle. Make lots of lovely flowers around it with swirly whirly middles. So yours could be absolutely anything. There you go, some swirly whirly flowers. I think we've got room for one more. You could do that all day. You could be adding flowers all day, couldn't you? Okay. And then if you want to, you can decorate around the outside of it or with some stickers. And I'll put some stickers on this other side. So I've got some nice smiley face stickers here. I'll add a few of those to it. Got a nice green one. So if you just place them all over, it ends up looking really nice as well. I've used a few of these on the paper plate tambourine that we're going to make. 
So we'll show you what it looks like when they're all covered in that. So that's a really nice thing to do. You can use your stickers, markers, any shapes or designs you like. And meanwhile, your glue is all drying and that's not gonna come apart at all. So, still got some tape left. We're gonna take our straw and we're going to tape it to our hand drum this time. So before you do that though, um, it's best to try and flatten the end of the straw. It is made from hard plastic, so it takes a wee bit of pressure to do that. So could I just advise you to get a grown up to help you do that part? Because it really is hard to get it sort of flattened there. So this is the round part and I've got it flattened a wee bit here. So I'm going to place it quite flat on my hand drum, maybe about two inches up there so that it's nice and secure. And I'm going to get some of the tape that I used earlier. You should have some tape left as well to use. So I get some tape. I'm going to get a few pieces to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. We want it to be nice, nice and secure. So when you're attaching your stick, you want to make sure that your ribbons are coming out each side, side to side. So you don't want your ribbon here or your straw here. You want it right down in the middle so that they'll shake over and back nicely for you when you've got it all attached. So I'm going to spend a wee minute taping my straw down so you can see what it looks like at the end. So there's one piece, but I want to make sure that it's really secure. It's not going anywhere. So let's use another couple of pieces. We'll use one and two. Remember to be really careful with the scissors or get somebody to help you with the scissors. And we just add this last wee bit in. There we go. And that's our wee hand drum all done. Nice and safe. Nothing's going to fall off it. There we go. So there's the one I made earlier where the straw is inside the two pieces of paper. And here it is where the straw is just taped to the outside of it. Those are our hand drums. I think they'd be great in a wee parade. So we're ready now to make um, our paper plate tambourines. This is another uh, lovely easy one that you can use your creativity and imagination to dress it up any way you want because all you really need is a paper plate, something to put inside it to make it jingle. So that could be some jingle balls from your kit. It could be some rice or some pasta some beads, even a few wee pebbles from outside, whatever you want. And I'll show you a few different things that I did when I was making some. So this first one I decorated before I stuck it together because I used paint. So just while the plate was still open, I just painted swirls round and round the middle in different colors and added some decoration to the outside. So paint, some stickers, there you go. And then this other one, um, I added a couple of different features to it. So on this side, I've got some markers and some stickers. And on the other side, we've got lots of happy faces, silly faces. And then also after it was glued together, I used a little hole punch. You could get a grown up to even use a pen to poke a few wee holes in there. Once it was glued together and dried, um, I hole punched and added some ribbons so it's a very cool looking little tambourine shaker so we'll make a very simple one today and we get our paper plate we are going to use some jingle balls for the middle because i have a few left and we're going to need our glue stick so this one we'll decorate afterwards so for now we're just going to fold it over in two and we're going to make sure it's nice and even Ask for some help if you'd like some help. And then we're going to press down all the way down here. There we go. So that's the basic shape of our tambourine. Um, before we stick it together, we're going to put in our jingle balls. But let's just talk about where we're going to glue it first. Your paper plate would usually have lots of ridges right around the edge here. So that's where we're going to put the glue. We're not going to put it in the middle because then the whole thing will just stick together and we won't hear any 
sound so just all around the outside and don't be afraid to use lots of glue glue stick is fine for this so you can use um, PVA glue if you want to but glue stick is fine so all around the ridges let me just show you what I'm doing here just round and round that ridged area and not in the middle same up top here, round and round the ridged area. Plenty of glue, but don't stick it together yet because we have to put something inside first so that it makes the noise. So here we go, pretty well glued now. And just before we seal it up, you get whatever you're gonna put inside. A couple of jingle balls, rice, pasta, shells. So I'm gonna put in a few of these wee ones. Here we go. And once they're inside then, you can fold it over and start sticking it together. Now you do need to spend a wee bit of time on this part because we need to make sure that every wee section is sealed. So we're just going to go round and round and then just go back over it again a few times. And if you've got any wee areas where it seems like it hasn't quite sealed enough, you can just add in some more glue. So take your time with this part because this is the important part when we start shaking it we don't want we don't want the insides to fly out all over the place so take your time press it down and put it down on the table press it down some more if you want to there we go so basically that is your paper plate tambourine made with whatever you've got inside but of course, it's really just the start because the next part is where your creativity comes into play. So look around, what do you have left? Do you have some ribbon that you'd like to add? I've actually still got some tissue paper that I might use. So you could get your old glue stick again and just glue some paper on there, cover it all up and make lots of different designs. And just like last time when we used the tissue on our paper cups. You can just glue straight all around your paper plate and then stick your tissue on anywhere at all that you want to. So I just have a few wee bits laying around on my slightly messy table. So I'm gonna use a few of those just to cover it up a bit. There we go. Any color you want, anything you want. So you might also have some stickers left. You might want to use those and some markers for a bit of color. You could use, if you've got any googly eyes, you could add those as well. So anything you want, that's lots of different ideas for you. Got some paint, got some tissue, got some stickers, got some ribbon, plenty of imagination and lots of great sound. Okay everyone, that's it for our instrument making workshop. We've actually made a lot of instruments, so let's just take a look at what we've done. We've done our paper plate cups. We've done some lovely hand drums. Well done on those, I like those a lot. We've done some jingle sticks, and if you make a few, you can add them together like I did. We have got our paper plate tambourines. We have got our lovely rainbow ribbon, which is just here, and our castanets. So, we might sing a wee song about castanets. So when your castanets are dry, you can learn how to sing clicking castanets. We are clicking castanets, click, click, click. We are clicking castanets, click, click, click. We are clicking castanets, clicking castanets. We are clicking castanets, click, click, click. And um, with all of your other instruments, you could make a whole band. You've got enough instruments there to make a band of your own. Lots of color and lots of great sound. So I know a wee song about a band as well. And I always sing we're all part of the music box band. But of course you can put in your name instead of the music box and use all your lovely instruments. So the wee song just goes like this. We're all part of the music box band, the music box band, the music box band. 
We're all part of the Music Box Band, and we can play all day. We can play our shakers, shakers, shakers. We can play our shakers, and we can play all day. We can play our tambourine, tambourine, tambourine. We can play our hand drum, and we can play all day. We're all part of the Music Box Band, the Music Box Band, the Music Box Band. We're all part of the Music Box Band, and we can play all day. So I hope you enjoyed making instruments with Queen Yuna Noob this year, and I look forward to seeing you all again. Thanks so much for joining me today. Goodbye.